What's good y'all, it's Rob from Briggs Fitness and today's video is about how to track your macros. I am not only going to teach you how to track your macros, but I'm going to teach you how to figure out how many calories you should be eating every day, how to split your macros for your particular body or your particular uh, fitness goals, and also why it's important for you to track macros. Do you have to track macros or count calories to lose weight? No. Do I suggest you doing it? Hell yes. Here's why. When you hit a plateau, if you don't know how much you've been eating, it's kind of hard to adjust your, your intake because you don't know. It's a kind of a guessing game. And eventually, once you start trying to lose that last 20 pounds, 10 pounds, the guesswork, the guessing game kind of stops working. So that's my little disclaimer. You do not need to track macros, but it is a very, very, very powerful tool for precision fat loss. Again, there's a difference between weight loss and fat loss. If you want to specifically target fat, you want to maintain your muscle, you want to change your the way your body is shaped, then tracking macros is the way to go. First, let me explain to you what a macro is. All right, macros are basically the big, the three big groups that nutrition is divided into, which is protein, fats, and carbohydrates. And your diet, let's say 2,000 calorie diet, is divided into those different categories. Now, the percentages that that you eat the percentage so the percentage of your calories from carbs from proteins and from fats affects how your body reacts to those particular type of calories not every calorie is equal 2000 calories from protein will do something different to your body than 2000 calories of carbs it's totally different so that's why it's important to understand the the proper ratio of calories from those different food groups uh, and how it applies to your body and your particular fitness goals. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much calories you should be eating, right? Here's how we do that. Okay, so you wanna go to iifym.com and then you click on the calculator. Now there's tons of different macro calculators, cal uh, calorie calculators on the internet. But this is the one I found from my years of, of using calculators to be the most accurate. That's just my opinion. No, they're not endorsing me or anything like that. This is just the calculator that I, I, that I honestly use. So that's the one I'm going to show you guys. All right, so you put in your, your information. Um, I'm putting my information here. Six, one... I don't even know how much I weigh right now. Probably about 220. Let's say my goal is to get down to 210 using the total weight formula. Um, how would I describe my normal activity levels? I am lightly active because if I'm not in the gym, I'm typically sitting at my desk. Um, doing work. So that's why I put lightly active. Um, how many days a week? I exercise six days a week, about uh, give or take 75 minutes a day. How intense is your exercise? Difficult. All right. So what that does, now it, it, it breaks it down into different categories. You have your weight loss, calorie uh, requirements, your performance, calorie requirements, which is basically maintenance, and then you have your bulking calorie requirements. Now we're gonna focus on the weight loss um, section here. I always suggest you starting off with 15%. Now the percentage here is basically your, your deficit, right? So this is a 15% deficit based on whatever your TDEE is, your total daily energy expenditure, right? Now these are calculators. This is this is an estimate, right? 
but this is pretty accurate because this is about how much I eat in order to lose body fat. Right? So now that you figured out your total, how many calories you should be eating based on what your particular goals are, now um, we need to figure out your macros. And we start that off by figuring out how much protein you need. These numbers are, are general numbers. It's a good place to start. I just want to give you this disclaimer. It's a good place to start. Everybody is different. So I don't, you know, I'm not giving you this information saying that this is exactly what you should do, but I do, I can tell you that this is a good place to start. Right. So let's, uh, I'm going to break out the board. It's the whiteboard. So let's say we're dealing with a 2,000 calorie diet, right? 2,000 calories. Okay. And nobody better not laugh at my handwriting. I know it sucks. Anyway. So, nine times out of ten, when you're searching when you're searching the internet for information about macros, they always suggest you starting with a 40-40-20 split, right? So that's 40% from carbs, 40% from protein, and 20% from fats. But here's the thing with that, right? That may apply to some people, but to some people that may not work. Now here's why. Um, we all have different protein requirements based on our particular goal, but for the sake of this video, we're, we're gonna talk about fat loss. You figure out your protein intake first, right? So here's the formula to do that. For round number purposes, let's say a person weighs 200 pounds. And like I, like I just said, so let's say you weigh 200 pounds, so 200, and then you times two, you times 0.75 by 200. I gotta get a better system. That gives you 150. So you take your weight, which is right here, your weight, and you multiply your weight by 0.75. Your weight, yo, my handwriting sucks. Please bear with me. So basically, you take your weight and you multiply your weight by 0.75. Whatever number you get is a great place to start with your protein intake. That's how much protein you need, in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. And now, you wanna figure out the percentage, right? So for this case, one, 150 grams of protein, and if we're talking about a 200 calorie diet, a 2,000 calorie diet, let's 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 do the math on that. Remember, I stated before, one gram of protein is four calories, right? So we're gonna multiply 150 times four, and that gives us 600. What that means is. 150 grams of protein is your suggested protein intake. That is 600 calories of your diet, right? Of your daily intake. So now you have to figure out what percentage 600 is of your daily intake. In this case, it's 2,000 calories. So here's how you figure that out. You divide 600 into 2,000, right? So 600 divided by 2,000. That gives you 0.3, right? Look, 600 divided by 2,000 gives you 0.3. Now you take that 0.3 and you multiply it by 100. So that gives you 30. This is your percentage of protein. You see how that worked? So you took 150 grams of protein, you multiplied that by four, that gave you 600. Now of a 2,000 calorie diet, in order to figure out how many calories, I mean the percentage 
of 600 in a 2,000 calorie diet. You divided 600 by 2,000, that gave you 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 100 gave you 30, and that's 30%. So now you figured out what your protein ratio is. So boom, that's your baseline. You got your protein. Here's the part that gets a little technical. Now, every body type typically, give or take, has the same amount of protein requirements when you're talking about fat loss, right? So that's pretty safe, you know, to assume that we all kind of just need 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body fat in that range somewhere. Now, where it gets complicated is with the carbs. Now, there's three different types of bodies. Now, each body type typically um, responds differently to carbohydrates. So you have your ectomorphs, which, which are the taller, slender uh, body type. This body type typically can handle higher carb levels, right? Then you have your mesomorphs. Uh, this, these are people who typically gain muscle really easy, easily. They have wide shoulders. Um, they kind of, the muscular build. They put on muscle easy, easily, but they also put on fat easily. This body type kind of does well at with medium level carbs. And then you have your endomorphs. I'm somewhere in between an uh, endomorph and a uh, and uh, mesomorph. I'm like right in the middle. Now, uh, an endomorph is the the body type that's normally carries a lot of weight in the midsection. They are typically not as athletically built. Um, you know, they don't have the broader, broader shoulders. They're more shaped, uh, pear shaped. So that's the endomorphs. No one really falls directly in one of these three categories you know some people do but most people are kind of a mix between two different body types right so with that being said you want to treat your body like a science experiment right you want to manipulate your carb intake in order to figure out which what works best for your body because once you start hitting these plateaus, if you are tracking your macros, you know how much carbs you're eating, now you'll be able to adjust and uh, maybe lower your, your carb intake before you actually lower your calorie intake. People's first um, re reaction to, to plateaus is to lower your calorie intake when that's not always the best solution. Sometimes you just need to manipulate your carb intake. And you you can control so much through manipulating your carb intake. All right, so now that we figured out the protein intake, we don't have to do any more math. Now, you pull up my fitness pal. Okay, so you you type in myfitnesspal.com obviously and if you don't have a profile set it up, you go to goals and then, all right, you figured out, we've already figured out what your calorie intake should be. So put your calorie intake here, right? So for the example, we're using 2000 calories and we figured out that this person should be eating 30% protein, right? Which is 150 gram. Now, um, for the example, we're going to use 50% carbs and then 20% fats, right? Because what we're doing is you figured out your protein is 30%. We added 20% for fats and then we'll, whatever was left is the carbohydrate intake that we're going to use, right? Which is 50%, uh, which is 250 grams in this case. Now, 200... 50% carbs is high, right? We are this is just a, a starting point. You always want to try to start off eating as many calories as you can and as many carbs as you can and then you you down you 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 lower it as you go based on how your body is reacting to it. Because it's better to start high and give yourself more room to manipulate your intake versus starting low and once you hit a sticking point if you're already if your carbs are already low and your calories are already low 
there's not much left to do at that point but to starve yourself. And that's not what we want to do. So you you figured out your protein, right? It's 150 grams. Now you all you have to do is put that put this information in and boom, you got the rest of your macro split. We started off with your carbohydrates high, right? We started off at 50%. Now, after because we're trying to figure out how many cal your body is now your science experiment. We're trying to figure out how many calories do your body actually need based on your activity level and based on your physiology. I always mess that word up. Your science, your body, what it needs in order for it to function and to lose weight effectively and safely, right? Starting off with 50%. In some cases, we're starting off at 40%. Now, after, let's say, two or three weeks, if you got to monitor things like your energy level, monitor um, your inches, because that doesn't always show up on the scale. Reference, matter of fact, I'm going to put a link to my scale video. Anyway, monitor your inches, monitor your energy level, monitor how you're sleeping, monitor your strength in the gym, right? These are all feedback mechanisms that'll tell you if you're getting enough carbs, if you're getting enough calories. Now, if you're not losing inches, you don't feel like your body's responding the way you want it to, it's not getting smaller, then at that point, we will lower the, car we will lower the carbs. We can lower it by, I like to go in small increments. I'll say lower it by 5% and raise your fats by 5%. Then try that out. See how your body responds to that. So that's basically the beauty of tracking your macros because you'll be able to dial it exactly how you need it based on your body and what you need because everyone's body is different. Anyway, I hope I covered everything. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you have not. I'm going to be continuing to make these videos uh, based on what you guys are asking me for. So leave your video requests down below. And shout out to the Brick Squad, the X Fat Boy t shirts on deck. We lit right now, y'all. We growing, man. Shout out to everybody who supports the channel. It means the world to me. This video is already too long, so I'm going to cut it off right here. I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.